What's going on, vintage gamers? Sometimes people ask me, hey, Justin, I was looking at the data, and there's this really small column called DPS that always has two people who play it and a 20% win rate. What the hell is that? Well, you see, back in the olden days, when you didn't need force of will, you just murdered people with Dark Petition Storm. Uh, now, that has not fared well in the age of Modern Horizons. However, recent top eight performance from Achilles with what I can I actually only assume is a very old deck list um, with DPS. So I, I felt it's a, it's a fun deck. It's a very much my style of deck. You you you, you cast Tinker for. <laughs> And you get bolus in Citadel. Now, I know, complicated combination, but it's something that actually I can play. So we're going to do it. Um, yeah, but basically, it's a, it's a, it's a you know, Tendril's Storm deck um, from a bygone era of Vintage. Uh, but the thing is, you're still playing the Broken cards, right? You're still playing Tinker Citadel. You're still playing Necro, Time Twister, Demonic Tutor. Vampiri Tutor, you have the broken cards in your deck, um, so it can definitely still win. It has the power level of a vintage deck. It doesn't really have the interaction of a of, of like a modern vintage deck, uh, but the power level is there. Now, people have worked on DPS in the past few years. I know Sing Panman is still working on uh, at least some kind of Saga versions. I don't really think Saga makes a lot of sense inside inside of DPS. The best part about Saga and DPS is probably that it gets you your Black Lotus. Uh, but the problem is Saga is so slow. You're not really contributing to your game plan. You don't have anything to slow your opponent down. And there's like no force of wills. Uh, so like your Saga plan is just, oh, I'm going to make some derpy creatures and hope it kills my opponent before I die. And then you die. Crazy how that happens. Uh, anyways, this, li like the <laughs> this list is wild. It really does just look like a list from... A long time ago, and it, and it might actually just be that. That might be the case. I can't remember if that was in the tweet, the tweet or not. Uh, but it has a lot of fun cards, like Mind's Desire, a sweet card. Doesn't see enough play. Probably shouldn't see play, but that's not, that's not the point because it's a sweet card. You know, the sideboard Narset, an absolute classic. Uh, and I, I'm done talking about it. You see the deck list in front of you. We're gonna jam some leagues. They'll be quick. They'll be fast. They'll be murders. Someone will die. It might be me. Okay, we out here battling with DPS. Let's see what we can do. You know, I say that, but did we join with DPS? I guess we'll have to find out when we open our hand here. Magic Online may have decided. No, we made it. We made it. We have the right deck. Thank you, Magic Online. Our opponent is on Luris of the Dream Den. Could be a variety of things in this day and age. There are Luris Control decks. There are Luris White Weenie decks. There are Luris Breach decks. There, there's a lot of things you can do with Luris. One of the things we can't do is keep our opening hand. This one we can. Um, I'm not super familiar with the Storm Kills. Um... It's just been so long since I've done any. Uh, I guess that's not exactly true because we did play the Tendril Storm Kills inside of our uh, Tinker Doomsday deck. But one of the cool things we have here is we get a probe our opponent and then we can get rid of their force and, right? Let's see. Cast this. Oh, wait, no, this is exactly five mana. Ooh, maybe not. This is three mana, and this is gives me to five mana. Okay, so I can't duress, but I might not need to duress, but I might need to duress. Hmm. I wonder what we're supposed to do then. Maybe the best answer is actually we don't even take Dark Petition. We just go for the Necropotence. That one, we still have enough mana to duress and a Necro. Obviously, that's assuming our Dark Ritual resolves. 
it's possible we don't need the probe. But I kind of think the probe might be good. Hmm. This could be wrong, but I'm going to put back this dark petition. Uh, I think I feel like I want to probe. Maybe I don't because I have a duress. Hmm. I guess it's also technically mental misstep bait, right? A little hard to say. Let's probe. <laughs> it feels better when I can cheat and look at my opponent's hand. Okay, so they're white weenie. Uh, and we can actually take their sapphire, which is going to be pretty important to stopping them from playing turn one Thalia. Um, I don't know if I have, like, if I had a deterministic kill, if I had gone, like, if I had probed and they didn't have anything, like, we knew they didn't have force, right? Because of Lurus. Oh, that's not true. Sorry, they could easily have force. Sorry. Still waking up, I guess. Hmm. They do have a strip mine, which means it doesn't matter which land we get. But the good news is I think we just go and take their sapphire. So now they don't have a turn one play besides that, and hopefully we can just draw a lot of cards off this. I don't know exactly how many. Probably, like, at least 10, I would say, because we need to make sure we hit lands and hopefully a turn two kill. Uh, how many have I done? Nine face-down cards? Ten face-down? Let's do ten face-down cards. I don't have anything else I can take off this, right? It's all creatures. Okay. So does that give us a kill? You know what? I have no idea. I do know I don't need this duress. And I don't need... Um... Probably don't need... The red land. I probably don't need... Brainstorm? Is this there's more? Oh shit. Uh, maybe I don't need this breach. Alright, so those cards get exiled. My opponent can either strip mine me, which puts me back a land, but they don't get to do anything for like two turns. Or they can play a planes and try to play a Thalia on the next turn, seeing as maybe I I don't have lethal. I don't know. Oh, they're going for strip mine, which I think we are super okay with. So I'm just going to deploy Soul Ring and draw some more cards. I want to leave two mana for a vamp, or two life for a vamp. Uh, maybe a fetch too. Eh, let's try two. It's really good because in case they top decked, uh, oh my fucking god, they top decked Mox. Man. All right, maybe we lose them they're just gonna jam Thalia and we're gonna lo lose to that, right? I don't think we have good answers. Oh no. I mean, I guess strip mining worked out. Just top deck the Mox, no problem. Uh, my only answer is a chain of vapor that I don't have in my hand, which means I'm probably going to die. Um, because I can technically get my chain of vapor and draw my chain of vapor with preordain. Oh, maybe, maybe I can. The problem, <laughs> the problem is they're just gonna recast it. Like I can, I can vamp for. Um, I can vamp down to two, and then draw it with necro down to one. Uh, but then they just, um, man. Okay, what happens if I Cabal Therapy? Do I even have Threshold? 
Yeah, I do have Threshold, so I could go 3 mana up to 5 mana. Like maybe I can get a Tendrils. <laughs> Sounds not very good. Might need to, though. I don't know. Probably have to cast this. So I need to find chain. Oh, shit. Because if I cast... Well, I guess I can technically take two and cast some of these can... I cast a cantrip. Maybe I should not have ritualed then. Oh, Black Lotus, Dark Ritual. So now I can ritual again and then cast Tendrils because this is going to be what, plus one mana, right? And that gives me, and then I can draw the Black Lotus. I don't know if drawing the Black Lotus is good. It's only what, plus one mana against Thalia? I might need it though. So that at least draws me some cards here. So I'm going to draw a bunch of cards. Six cards down to four. All right, let's do that. All right, so the biggest problem is I don't have the chain still. I wonder if I could have won this game on turn one if I was better. It's possible, right? I had Dark Petition. All right, so now the question is... Yeah, probably just use the Academy to save the Soul Ring. So I again have Lethal on the table. Dark by casting Lotus. And then I can... Make... Blue and black mana, cast therapy, ther catch ritual, cast vamp, cast ponder. I just don't know how much mana that leaves me with. So if I cast, I make blue mana, black mana. I'm just going to try it. I didn't really actually do the math, but do this. So this puts me to. Five mana, and then ponder will put me to three mana. So I can cast chain, but then I have no cards to follow up. So what if I cast Yogwell? Yogwell to four mana, Black Lotus Ritual. I don't know, maybe let's try it. <laughs> I feel like it doesn't get much better than this. Well, I can't cast Yogwell because I no, I have six mana, which means I can draw Yogwell, but then I can't cast Yogwell. Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't think about that. I mean, did I have other options right now? I don't really feel like I had other options. I needed to find chain and have enough mana to twist, and maybe I needed to leave more life. Because I can draw chain and play chain, but I can't twist. I'm going to go to zero. I'm going to go to two. I guess when I vamp, I'm going to two. I could go for ancestral. That's not very good. 
because I'm going to go to three mana. So I can only really cast a one or two mana card anyways. I could time walk, and then I would just have to be able to draw one card. Maybe that's still fine, though. That might give me more looks, because I have a twister. I don't know. So... Emerald is mana positive if I use my... Or mana... Yeah. All right, whatever. I'm just going to try this. They didn't play spirit, so I can technically twist. I don't think this does anything. Okay. All right. Yeah, that game. I thought I was pretty much locked to win unless they drew a Moxin and then they drew a Moxin. Don't know if I should have played it differently to try to play around them drawing a Moxin, but I definitely want to be able to tinker for a Blight Steel, even though they probably have like some Path Exiles and stuff. More chains, more pushes. Maybe empty seems reasonable as well. Don't need defense grids. I uh, don't need Hercules recall. Don't really need duresses either. Hmm. Maybe we want this Caracas. Maybe I'll take a Hercules over a duress. Yeah, I, I just can't think, I mean, maybe there's a Dark Petition line, but you don't have very much mana, so it's a little weird. Maybe you can just use Dark Petition and get Yagwell, but I feel like it's short on Storm, probably. Hmm. Okay, again, this hand is closer. Wait, see, if I go Jet, Ritual, Demonic, that means we have a Demonic with one left over. I could go Black Lotus. I could go Sapphire Ancestral. I could go Tolarian Ancestral. I kind of want to find like a turn one kill, but... have a fatal push it's probably fine to keep this hand and just go for a mana a blue mana source and then ancestral feels reasonable I think I'm just supposed to get um, a Sapphire, though. No, I'm probably just supposed to get a land. Blue-black land or Academy. Probably just a blue-black land. I'm going to get Fetch land. For card count, I think. I think this is better than getting a, a, a permeable land. Okay. Well... Not terrible. Let's see what they got. Okay, so my opponent is much better at getting Moxon in their opening hands than... Oh, God. Uh, yeah. Deafening silence, huh? That could be problematic. Never mind. Uh, never mind. Pretty sure I'm supposed to just twist now. I 
They have misstep? <laughs> okay. Sure, why not? Oh. I don't even have a basic in my deck, do I? Man, I am not having a good time. I think I'm just going to lose this game. I, my opponent having this stuff is so sad. <laughs> good God. can't dude i can't i can't i can't i can't it's why oh, is so good against me but when i play this deck it never works <sighs> sad day it is but a sad day all right cool i've been vanquished fuck me <laughs> Okay, I went back on round one. I didn't didn't see any way to kill in turn one, so I, I don't know if we had opportunities that I didn't see, but oof, man, what an absolute beating. All right, we'll try again in round two here. This hand has nothing. Try again. This hand has cards. Probably fine with two redraws on the draw. It's a lot of, a lot of not great stuff, but... Probably still acceptable. I'm going to probably put back the therapy. Sorry, the ritual. No, I'm going to put back the chain. And then just try to draw some payoffs. Okay, that looks pretty strong. That uh, that one actually not as good against us as other cards. Uh, however, it does stop our Gitaxian probe from drawing an extra card. So you know, small change, small things, small things. Mana Crypt off of the Narset. It's probably the best possible Mana Rock you can have in PO. See if they have a third Mana Rock. Maybe just a... Oh, okay. You're going to PO for four. I will lose the game. No PO. Well, that feels a little lucky, but we probably don't have very much longer to live, seeing as there's a Narset. Uh, do we even want to probe? This Demonic Tutor should probably represent lethal, if I remember anything. I don't know if it does actually represent lethal, but if we have, like, Dark Ritual into Soul Ring, into Cabal Ritual, into Demonic Yog, I don't know if that has enough leftover mana. We might have to Duress first. The problem is we just probably don't get another turn. And if they have a Fluster, I guess I have to... To rest anyway. Let's, I, th I think I'm just supposed to look, pay two life to look at their hand. Actual, actually, just pay two life. Look at their hand. They had a PO. Oh, honey, what are you doing? Cast that shit. Fucking slam that shit. Okay, well, that's interesting. Uh, the good news. Is they don't have a counter at the moment, but they can they can they can draw they can draw four to find one. But they won't have any fluster storms, so that's good. That's good. We got good things happening here. So can I do I have a determinist to kill with the cards I have in hand? Dark ritual, uh up to three mana, soul ring up to four mana, uh, two two black, two colorless, um down to one black, one colorless but up to 
four black, one colorless. So I have five black to go demonic. That's not going to be good enough, right? I can demonic for... Oh, shit. I can demonic for necro. Wait, what if I have a blue mana? There's no blue mana. I mean, I could... I could duress them, but then they might just PO in response, or maybe they... I mean, they can easily find another PO off of this Narsa. I want to kill them this turn, but I don't see it. I think the best I can do is Necro, so... I don't know if there's anything good here. I think I... I... I just don't have enough to do anything silly. Maybe my best play is just to duress them, and then next turn, hopefully we draw a fetch land and go for a citadel. I, I, I don't see it here because if I'm not, if I'm counting this correctly, this goes up to three mana, four mana, five mana. And uh, five mana, demonic down to three mana. If I Yagwil, I go to zero mana, and I don't have any way to replay anything. Uh, and I don't have any blue mana, so I, I could go Necro, but that doesn't seem good. I, I don't know why my opponent didn't cast P.O. If you're scared about the Narset, just pick up three cards here. I would probably cast this for three. I would pick up those three cards on their turn. Like, you're running into Mind Break Trap, you're running into Negation, but... You're P.O. You just you run it out. You do the thing, and you make them beat you. I don't, like... I don't think in the blind, it's good to play around a ton of stuff. And the thing is, if you're waiting and your opponent is on, you know, an unfavorable matchup for you, something like a Pyroblast or a Flusterstorm could really make your chances of winning very small. So, I don't really like waiting there. My opponent's three cards they drew were Ancestral, Yogwill, Vampiric Tutor. So, if I take their Mox Oval... And they don't hit a mana source. That's my best chance. Perfect. Like a blue mana source. I have to... I'm just going to take their opal and hope they don't hit a blue mana source. And then we need to draw a, a, a blue mana source. Because then we can tinker. That's the plan. Alright, mana crypt. Mana Vault. Yeah, these are the cards we knew about. Did you draw a land? An Opal? And here's your Narset activation. Narset hitting Opal or Sapphire or even Jet are all going to kill us. <laughs> they hit Force of Will, which doesn't kill us but definitely makes our life more difficult. Okay. That's good news. I think our duress actually worked. The bad news is we have one payoff and they have a force of will. Drew an ancestral. Dope. Oh. Not dope. You think they know that they have a Narset in play? You think they'll force this if we, like, upkeep it? Again, I have the same thing here where the best I can do, because I didn't draw a land, the best I can do is Necro, and I still think that's not good. Especially when they can force the Necro now. So what I'll do is I'll see if I can bait a force and just can't try. Like, 
I'll do it on their turn. I'll see if I can bait a force with an ancestral. And then if I don't counter it, I do draw at least a draw card. But if they forget they have a Narset in play, then maybe they force this. Definitely a check you should probably make on against most players, just because, I mean, I forgot there's an R set. So they drew Fluster for turn, okay. So they forgot that, maybe they want to just kill a cantrip, but they, at least they got rid of their force. So, again, we are in a position where my opponent needs to not hit a blue source or a black source. And we need to hit a land. Or an off-color Moxon. Maybe not an off-color Moxon. Land. Okay, so they hit a land, which means they now have access to either Ancestral or Yogg. So they can Yogg, Opal, Lotus, Po, and I will concede. All right. I tried my best. I was going to hit the land, which let, would let us go uh, Fetch, Dark Ritual, Soul Ring, uh, Cabal Ritual, Demonic Tutor, Tinker, Citadel. That was that was the line, and we almost, had, we almost made it work. All right, opponent is on PO. What we're going to do is play Pyroblasts. Narset. Play Pyroblasts and Narset. And uh, what else? What are, we, what are we taking out? Chain? Probably don't need Chain. Uh, what else do you take out in this matchup? Mystical, maybe? Maybe Necro's too slow? I don't know. I feel like having access to Necro is nice. Who knows? I'm still thinking about round one. What could I have done differently? It felt like I was... I mean, it's possible... Game 2, I was supposed to mulligan. Because I know what the matchup is, and I just want to kill them. But they had they did have their mental misstep, which is probably their best piece of interaction. Return 0. So that's a little annoying. Alright. We go again. I have... I have a Pyroblast and a Red Source, but I also have nothing else happening. Let's try, let's try again. This time I have... Hmm. I think we just keep this. I don't have like a turn one strong play. I don't have a turn one or two strong play, but I feel like I'm just supposed to keep it this to rest. And then next turn, if I hit a mana source, I just go for twist. Like, I'm already mulled to six. I don't think it makes more. So I'm getting forced. Okay. The nice part about DPS in comparison to PO, or especially in comparison to like Esper Tinker. Uh, is that if we ever do get a Citadel in play, it gets very hard to brick, because you only have, like, 12 bricks in your deck. Just only lands. You don't have flusters and stuff like that. <sighs> oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mox box. Mm-hmm. And? And? Okay. Another stellar PO artifact draw. No PO again? Or do you have PO waiting in your hand? All right. Well, the good news is... I have plays. The bad news is... I mean, they're not good plays. My opponent has two cards in hand. I don't want to Time Twister. But... I also probably should have gone Black Mana Ritual Ritual Soul Ring Twister. That way I would have had floating mana for my twist. Maybe I'll just wait and do that next turn. Because... Uh, that was really bad. But my opponent could easily have counters. Uh, Fluster. I don't know. This should still this should beat Fluster if I wait, right? But then my opponent can drop PO. 
and I die, or Tinker and I die, or Citadel and I die, or just hard cast force. They have one card in hand, though. It's so bad for me to give the person who has 10 mana on turn three, on turn two. Whatever. <laughs> this is twist. This is why Twister's not good. Um, but. This is why Twister's not good. Hopefully we'll find out that my opponent draws seven bad cards. All right. I have a bunch of cantrips and a vamp. So what do I do? I mean, my opponent can just PO here for another four, too. Hmm. What can I even vamp for here? Just tinker. I can vamp. Okay, this got flustered. That's kind of interesting. I don't know why this is getting flustered. I can't really beat a fluster storm if my opponent just holds my fluster storm. Also, like the example of why Twister is not good. I just twisted my opponent into counter magic and, and probably action as well. Maybe they have multiple fluster storms. That's why we're flustering a talk ritual doesn't do anything. I don't know. Not sure. Pretty sure I'm just going to jam a tinker and hope it works. That's kind of how I normally approach these things. Well, I guess I technically have a close to a tendrils kill, right? Let's take a book about this. If I vamp... If I vamp for a tendrils and then I if I vamp for a tendrils and then I preordain as my eighth spell, I guess I technically have a tendrils kill, which will be force. So maybe it's better. No, it won't be force, right? Because I'll have exactly enough. No, wait, I need ten. I need ten copies. And I currently have enough mana to do tendrils on top, preordain, storm count eight, and then cast tendrils for nine total. <laughs> I think I'm one short. Unless I don't know how storm works, which could be the case. Could be the case. Um. Okay, I think I'm short. I'm just going to tinker. Oh, wait, did I, did I, is it wrong? Would I have storm count be nine and it would have been exactly enough? Whatever. <laughs> I think they have a counter spell, but, oh, they don't have a counter spell. Storm count would have been nine. So I would have had nine copies of tendrils, right? Which is 10 drills. Which is twenty damage. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna roll the dice because rolling the dice is more entertaining. What did they flip into here? Ah, uh, wow. It seems pretty unlucky. Well, the the thing that my opponent should have done is not flusterstorm the dark ritual that doesn't do anything. All right. So this should be this should be lethal now. So what I can do is wish claw for a vamp. Oh, I don't have a vamp. Okay. Um. Hmm. I see. I see. All right, I'll just get a black lotus. That way I can cast a million cantrips. Okay, that that one kills them too. Okay, so no, no, so that it didn't count. 
I was the storm count was I got 16 copies. Okay, so I, I was I was I was fine. I was fine. I was fine. I think I was okay. The storm count goes to 17 after we cast the tendrils. So I think we were one short. All right. Well, I, I don't think we were supposed to win this game because I think this fluster storm should just be held for my payoff and then we would lose. But you got to take the wins when you get the wins. I can't be picky. At this point, you know, I, I can't be picky about when I'm winning because I don't do very much winning anymore. I feel like I've put up videos where the last like 10 videos I've gone very little wins. Okay, what do we have? I mean, I think that's about as good as we're gonna get. What does this breach do in this deck? There's no brain freeze, right? Just value breach, extra yog will. It's kind of interesting. I didn't really, I've never really thought about that. The worst part about this is that I'm on the draw against PO and I don't have instant speed reaction on turn zero because I'm a DPS deck. However, I get to hold up Blast Ancestral on turn two, so that's not terrible. There are definitely worse DPS units. Okay, you got some nice art, nice jewelry, high roller, down to two cards, down to one card. Is this going to be the PO for three on turn one again? The good news is if this, ah, oh, safe. So the, other side, the good news is if they PO for three on turn one here, it's not the end of the world. Uh, and, big, and the reason be is because they don't have a piece of blue jewelry. So you just went for Ancestral. I don't like that. I think I would rather my, I would rather you tutor PO in this situation. All right. The good news is I technically can resolve my Ancestral right now and go for something, but. The bad news, is, I guess, is if I get a Volcanic Island, then I don't have a black mana. Hmm. I guess the other bad news is if my opponent is an astute individual, they just don't cast their Ancestral, and then they don't give me an opportunity to Pyroblast. Uh, which is probably a good reason for us not to fetch. I just didn't want to get caught like without having... I don't want, I didn't want to get caught, but that was, that's fine. Uh oh, they drew a PO as well. So they've, they merchant for ancestral and then drew PO. All right. Well, the good news is I still am pyro blasting you. The bad news is you have another draw three in your hand. The good news is they don't have a counter spell. The bad news is I don't have something to be countered. To not be countered. All right, black lotuses. Any black lotuses? Any low tie? Low tie. That's not a thing. Uh, that's a good draw though. That land time walk is a great draw there. Okay, so where does that leave us in life? Uh, three less life, I assume. Ooh, kept my life. Okay, what are, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We have. Yog will ancestral time walk. No, we're currently yes. If we cabal ritual to get an extra mana, we will be okay. I will. I, I think it makes sense for us to go 
Ancestral Time Walk. Oh, I forgot the Cabal Ritual. Okay, where does that leave us? Uh, all right, well, I'm going to cast Ancestral Recall and hope and draw Moxon. Yay. Actually, I should probably fetch first. Yes, I forgot the part where I detailed how I was going to use my Cabal Therapy. <laughs> moxin. I did not hit a Moxin, and I also did not leave open red mana. Interesting. Justin, Justin, Justin. All right, well, I mean, if we get another turn, we will win. The problem is my opponent's going to resolve an Ancestral because I'm bad. I don't think I need a Narsa at this point. I think I just want the mana. Uh, yeah, okay. So I felt like leaving open the black mana gave me more opportunities with the Ancestral, like Dark Rituals. Um, so I think it made sense to use the blue-red mana for Ancestral. I think the bottom line is I definitely should just cast this Cabal Therapy. All right, all right. So my opponent has three mana, but... No blue mana at the moment. Oh, did they draw P.O.? P.O. Opal? That'd be really bad. All right. Land. Opal. Two cards left. All right. We're safe for another turn here. Jeez. Okay. All right. I did not play well. All right. The good news is I have a lot going for me now. And I have a duress. I'm living the dream right now. Probably. Someone's dream. Alright, show me your secrets. Mental misstep. Fluster. I think I'm allowed to just pay. Just to make sure they have nothing. Make sure they don't have, like, double fluster. Swords. I don't know why there's a sword in your deck. Okay. So now I have Dark Ritual. I mean, this should just be elementary, I would assume. That's seven cards. So uh, Ritual, Ritual, Dark Petition, Yogwill. Actually, I guess this one can Dark Petition for another Ritual. Yeah, I'm going to kill my opponent here. Technically, you go for a Desire kill. That'd be pretty fun. Oh, I don't have a Yog Will. Uh, hold up. There's no Yogwill. I forgot. So where does that leave me in life? I'm going to have five black mana. I can still desire. Is that just the best? So should I make more, more storm here? Oh, I have a tinker though. I should probably just tinker. Okay. I, I have made some mistakes again. I am not the smartest individual. I should not have done the things I did. Oh, I bricked. Oh my god, I bricked. <laughs> mm. Alright, maybe I should have desired. <laughs> what, am I going to lose this game? I don't have enough cards in my deck, man. Oh my god. Alright, well, my opponent's top decking. It's probably fine. Man, I made this entertaining, didn't I? I hope you are enjoying this comedy of errors brought to you in part by Justin is bad at magic. I should have just desired. Why didn't I just desire? I could have desired. I, 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 went, I didn't need to dark petition twice either, but I was like, well, I can just make sure that I have enough mana to Yogg will kill my opponent. And then, God. All right, well, new plan. 
new plan necro It only costs one life instead of two life, so I think I'm just gonna pay past that one. Okay, I mean a wish claw sounds good. At some point, I think I can like brainstorm. No, I can just cast this desire. I'll just keep both of these. I'll probably just cast this desire at some point here. I've been waiting to do that. I guess I technically can kill my opponent. No, we're casting Desire. I learned my lesson. I can technically kill my opponent, but can I, I can also resolve Mind's Desire, which sounds just, like, way more fun. Oh, I could have Dark Ritualed on top. Whoops. I am going to cast this, and I'm going to get a Tendrils, and I'm going to cast Tendrils on you. Oh my god, I made that so difficult. No, 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 Justin, Justin, you need to reframe your thoughts here. You didn't make it so difficult. You made content. You made content. It wasn't that you were playing bad. It was that you were playing for content. I see, I, I was looking at it the wrong way. Sorry, chat. Oh, we're back. Later, but... Looks like we have the same opponent, uh, which means maybe we're playing against Pio again. Uh, this hand, unfortunately, doesn't make blue-blue on turn two. If I could find a way to, like, make blue-blue, then, like, maybe I could go ritual, uh, ritual desire. But because I don't have a turn one or turn two against Pio, it's probably just not good enough. This looks a lot better. Try that. I'm just gonna get rid of the card that I probably won't be able to cast this game. And do something with this. Oh, we have switched from PO to Bizarre. That could be good for me if they are Hogak, or bad for me if they are any other Bizarre deck. The reason it's good if it's Hogak is because they don't really have great um, answers. They just have Force of Vigor, basically, and then we would have Free Reign. Okay, it's Dredge. So is it a, it's a seven-card Dredge hand? Hmm. That's very bad for me, because now my opponent can have four Force of Will, four Force of Negation, four Mind Break Trap. They probably don't have that many of each of those things, but they can. Uh, and they don't have a Dredger. Am I just supposed to go for things? So if I were to go for things, one, two, two mana, make a black mana, three spells, so three mana, so five mana, five mana, three spells, I could go, eh, it doesn't, I'm not really seeing, is there a tinker? Uh... Not really a tinker. All right, I'm just going to play my soul ring. Maybe? No, 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 I'm gonna play my, I'm gonna play my, I don't think I'm gonna go for a storm. I think what I'm gonna do is Get my spells down. If they want to vigor me, I guess I get wrecked for doing it this way. So by playing a Wishcard Talisman this way, I don't get Mind Break Trapped. But now I get vigor because I lose my ability to have mana to pay for this in response. I think I can respond. Yeah. Yeah, it was a mistake. It's more likely my opponent has vigor than they have Force Will Soul Ring. Then they have vigor. Uh, then they have trap. So I probably should have sequenced this differently. Well, this works fine. I got my soul ring forced for whatever reason. 
So my opponent is running low on cards. Do they have Vigor as well? I mean, if they had Vigor and Force, then that would be a dredge hand for sure. Let's see if they activate in response to Icarid. Didn't activate Bazaar in response to Icarid is interesting. You should activate this in response so that you can have better choices. Like they had to eat a prize amalgam here, uh, but you want your prize amalgam to come in. So just not a great timing. So here, like you could have pitched this Icarid and then ate Icarid with Icarid, and then you get an amalgam at end of turn. So slight, slight missequencing here. They dredged once and missed. So this gives me a lot of... <laughs> Uh, I was going to say this gives me a lot of time. Uh, it still gives me some time because my opponent is now going to have zero cards in hand. So we are going to die on the turn after this because they'll probably just stretch through their whole deck and chill us. I thought there were only two chills left. Uh, but they have two Icarids. So probably dead on our next turn, even if we don't lose this flip. So we need to win this game now. And we have to figure out how to do that. Look for a storm kill, perhaps. We have ritual, ritual, yog will. I wish there was a brain freeze because we would just be able to. I don't know, tutor brain freeze, ritual, ritual, brain. Well, we wouldn't have any red mana. Hmm. So we don't even make that much mana, but we can. Play one, two, three, four, five, six. But we can go for a Tinker as well because we have another blue source here, right? So we can go virtual. Ritual, Yagwil, Soul Ring, Ritual, Ritual, Blue Mana, and we activate this, and we just tinker. Guess we could technically twist her, but probably didn't need to use that many rituals, but I only have one Yagwo anyways, right? I guess future rituals, maybe. If I had additional blue, I could go for desire, but I don't. I have one blue. I think Tinker is my best option. I, I don't think Twister is my best option because my opponent is a Clearly, at a force of negation, force of will, force of will, all the stuffs. Just tinker. Okay. Can't hit any lands, but everything else is fine. So as long as I just dodge lands, it's playable. Cool. We had just enough life left to do that, huh? Felt like that was fairly lucky. Yeah, I felt a little lucky. So maybe my... Oh, my opponent didn't activate Bazaar in their upkeep because they had a Bazaar in their hand they didn't want to lose. Is that true? I didn't count the number of cards were in their hand. If they, I thought they had two in their hand, though. But if they only had one card in their hand, then if they activate Bazaar, they lose their other Bazaar. I definitely don't want to lose your other Bazaar. So it's possible my opponent had not did not have access to activate an upkeep. Either way, um, that's a nice game one steal against Dredge. We don't really have very much. I think defense grids are the key in this matchup. Might even bring in a Blight Steal. Um... But no reason to play Chain. I really don't like this Breach in this deck. I think this Breach is quite poor. I'm just going to go like this. So far, I've not been impressed with the idea of this Breach. The Wishclaw Talisman has looked good, though. I have liked the Wishclaw Talisman. 
That has been pretty sweet. Uh, probably have to put this back because it doesn't do anything. I need to like kill fast. We only have one piece of graveyard hate. This is probably my best bet so far. They mulled to four though. That's a good start for us. I think we need the help. This deck doesn't seem to respect dredge in the sideboard because I guess it's its game plan is most likely just to kill dredge. But in 2022, dredge is a control deck. Somewhat. If it keeps seven anyways. It can have a lot of permission. What is this? Grief? Chalice on zero. <laughs> okay. I boarded out my chain of vapor. And I still don't I mean, I have a brainstorm to get rid of these, so I guess I don't particularly care, but <coughs> man, that's brutal. All right. They missed on a dredger, though. Okay. They do have a hollow one, a chalice, and a bizarre on turn one, though. Not a bad uh, sequence of events here. I think I'm going to need to be able to put back both of these, so I'm just going to wait on this brainstorm. I'm just going to have so many dead cards, it's not going to matter too much. This is probably not going to be an easy game to win, if I had to guess. Again, I would activate this in response, so you can maybe return this Icarid if you wanted to. There's no real reason to let Icarid resolve and then activate. Obviously, it wouldn't have mattered, but uh, I definitely don't want... You, you know, you don't give yourself outs in case you wanted to bring this Icarid back. It's possible you could have. So you hit, like, I don't know, Grief. That creature you can get rid of. That wouldn't help you dredge. Okay, we are we are not drawing the cards we need. We only have 12 lands in our deck, so this is a little bit too many. Let's first... <laughs> yeah, all right. We're going to get rid of some of our zero drops. Unfortunately, I would like a Tormod's Crypt. However... Didn't keep in any way to get rid of this chalice. I don't really mind overdrawing here because I have so many dead cards. Um, I'm just going to get rid of... Should I ever need this to rest? My opponent should be activating this bazaar and trying to find dredgers. Unless, I guess, if they found exactly forcible on the first turn, then they would maybe be able to draw and try to hollow one. Creeping Trail, Leyline of the Void, Serum Powder. Interesting. Yeah, again, activate in response to your Icarid still on the stack. We're going to 10. This seems like we can win now. We just have... Wait, didn't I... Shuffle that back in? It's unfortunate. All right, so I think I am just going to spend one more turn deploying mana. Or do I think I have a win here? Um, so I don't think I have any win because I don't have any rituals. I think I'm just going to spend one more turn deploying mana. And next turn we'll try winning. I guess technically my opponent could activate this bazaar, hit a creature and a dredger, like two dredgers, return Icarid, and then dredge into a chill. That would kill me. And my opponent might have been able to do that if they had, yeah. My opponent would probably have won this game if they had just activated in response to Icarid. Because I'm at 7, and they would have been able to bring back Icarid and hit me and kill me. So, this is this is where there are uh, tricks and, and sequencing things you can do with Dredge to, to make your deck stronger. That's where those kind of come into play. 
So for me, I get like six storm just based on this. So I assume if I just uh, tutor for a dark ritual, I should have enough storm to very easily kill my opponent. Uh, I guess I can tutor for a cabal ritual. That technically makes me what? Does that make me more mana or less mana? <laughs> I guess me plus three mana. Yeah, so I can do that. Do this, this. Badlands, Lotus, Countered, Cormac Mana Crypt, Countered, Cormac's Crypt, Countered, Wall Ritual, Dark Petition, Yogwill, Yogwill, Wall Ritual, Lotus, Mana Crypt, Hormon's Crypt, Duress you, I knew that, kill you. I have exactly enough, I guess I should have maybe Ancestral first. They did Creeping Chill, so... But I have exactly enough. Alright, GG's! I think, opponent, if you end up watching this, make sure you pick up those little tips and tricks, because I think you should be 2-0 against me. Uh, but I, I have sneak, snuck, snuck a little bit past you there. GG's, though. GG's. Another round. Okay. I accept. kind of one of the instances where you wish there was there was a basic in the deck so you would have blue mana no matter what but a turn one defense grid is acceptable i have many manas and we can push towards i don't know turn three tinker it looks like Unless um, looks like push towards turn three tinker. Cause next turn we don't have double blue mana, so we can't tinker. I guess theoretically we might be able to dark petition or something, but let's see. Uh, I'm going to naturally draw. Oh. Oh my. Um, yeah, so forget that. I'll just... I just play another defense grid. Um, I guess my opponent could still wasteland me. Yeah, so I, I'm just going to go Mana Vault, Defense Grid... Oh, fuck. Then I won't have enough mana. No, 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 I will, I will, I will, because I have Dark Ritual. Okay. I'm going to go Mana Vault, Defense Grid, and then I'm going to Mystical for a Tinker. And then I'm going to pass the turn. I guess, technically, my opponent can play Lavinia, is the way this goes awry, right? I'm kind of hoping this, like incentivizes a wasteland which we can beat oh i have a black lotus i guess i don't have to worry about mana at all um i'm i guess the only way this goes badly for me is if my opponent slams lavinia because i am fully under the grid i just need to cast my spell successfully I don't think there was a faster way to do this besides turn three, but we do end up with a very nice protection layer here. My opponent does seem to be on Jeskai, though, so it's possible Lavinia could have happened, which would have been a disaster. I guess, know what would have also been a disaster? Ragavan. Hmm. 
Again, that is a card I can technically play around by just upkeeping my mystical. And I could have upkeeped my mystical. My worry with upkeep mystical was wasteland. But I probably shouldn't have worried. I mean, if they're bird blade, they have wasteland, right? That's that's so like blue white can be a couple of different things, but I don't know. You can't play around everything, and all we saw was tundra. Tough to say. There's like a lot of cards just to play around in that situation, and I don't think you can play around all of them. Okay, my opponent has conceded. Fair enough. Pretty sure that's to probably lethal from there. Uh, if my opponent is going to be on Jeskai, I don't really think you want Pyroblast. I think you would rather just have a bunch more defense grids. Um, Pyroblast, I think you just want for PO, maybe. But this is like not a very good mystical matchup, though. Probably try something like this, maybe. Yeah, so let's think. Like, there was Lavinia, which uh, would have been bad. Ragavan would have been bad. Ragavan is a card that maybe we should be should have been playing around there, though. Is Ragavan more likely than a Wasteland? The problem is a lot of those... Well, I think Ragavan would be in both the decks with and without... Well, the problem is like we didn't know they were Volcanic Island. What's the likelihood they're going to be Jeskai after we see Tundra on turn one? Kind of low, right? Jeskai doesn't really exist too much in the metagame anymore. Like, if I had to guess after seeing Tundra Preordain, I would think Esper Tinker. This hand's sick. The rest of the twist with three Moxen. Hmm. Yeah. I might have done poor threat evaluation there. Or threat... Not... It's not really threat evaluation, but threat likelihood, maybe? Is that does that consider part of threat evaluation? I don't know. Ooh, even better. Um so I'm gonna lead duress, even though I have access to grid, because then I would be less mana. Not even less mana, I'm just one colorless less mana. Hmm. Never mind. I think we just play grid. Well, this, I guess, technically exposes my mana crypt to being forced, which would be bad, uh, maybe. Let's see. Oh, okay. Let's just get forced. This doesn't get forced. It did get forced. Got, they pitched a misstep to do it. Uh, let's get a ruby in play to play around these. And then we'll duress their best card after they've ancestraled. And then we do need to resolve a time twister, unfortunately. Energy flux. Uh-oh. I guess I can take... Fuck. Um... Hmm. I mean, they're really incentivized to play Dreadhorde Arcanist because they have an Ancestral in their yard. Definitely not going to play the Sapphire now. And I'm definitely punished for keeping the playing the Ruby to play around Days. But I mean, they could definitely play Days. So it really is a, a classic Jeskai deck. That's kind of interesting. I think I'm just going to take the Force and let them choose between Dreadhorde and Ancestral. And then if they play if Energy Flux, sorry, uh, Flux and Ancestral, uh, Flux and Arcanist, whew, I can use the Crypt to pay for the Ruby and go Sapphire Twister. And I don't want to do that, but that is definitely where we're at in life. I don't think letting them have a Force here when I have one threat is a good play, though. Okay, so they did jam Flux, which I think is worse for me than them jamming Arcanist, because I could shuffle away the Ancestral. Uh, I do think I'm just going to pay for this Ruby. Lose the Mana Crypt. 
And then I know we resolve this twister, but then, oh, new plan, I guess. Let's see what that, oh, I should use a Sapphire because now I blew off my black mana. Very bad, very, very bad. Very, very bad. Oh, I didn't even draw a land to twist, or to, to time twist, jeez. Uh, okay, yeah, this was such a bad use of my thing. I should have played Sapphire. I guess in this situation, though, I can actually hold Sapphire so that I can play it and not get it fluxed. So maybe it works out in the end. Huh. Hmm. All right, they have a daze. They drew daze off the top. Wow. Oh, no. And I actually didn't draw any mana sources in those four cards. So I would have been able to... Wouldn't have been able to Demonic. I would have had to get rid of their days with Duress. Oh, my gosh. All right. Yeah, I mean, now even if we draw a mana source, I can't twist. Oh, boy. And then they're going to probably resolve Arcanist and then cast Ancestral, and we're going to lose. Wow. That was not how I expected this to go after Ancestraling, but I guess if I had gone Sapphire Twist, we would have been teased. So, uh, yeah, not great. Not great. Not great. Not great. So if I hit a land drop, it doesn't even do it because I lose my ruby to this flux. I mean, if I hadn't, taken the, if i had taken the the flux or the arcanist then they would have had force so um i don't know i think i tried <laughs> i think i did my best what do we need to draw here dark ritual If I play, if I draw Dark Ritual, I can go Sapphire into Ritual, Demonic, something, Oof, I don't know, looks rough. Not the best Ancestral Recall, wow, not good, not good at all. Don't even really want to play this out, to be honest, my opponent's about to resolve Ancestral Recall. Like I have to play hey, Sapphire to resolve Vamp, and then I can play Lotus, and that means they have to draw zero cards that matter off of Ancestral. But I mean, that's my that's my out, right? I need to draw Lotus. I can technically go Sapphire Demonic for Lotus, get my Demonic Dazed. I guess I can technically Duress... Oh, I shouldn't have played the Sapphire. Okay, so I could have technically duress, gotten duress dazed, and then um then vamped on upkeep. Okay, no, I don't want to vamp on upkeep now. I no, 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 no woo uh undo. I want to vamp on I can't even really vamp on end step, right? Because I don't get countered that way. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I think the answer is lose. I don't have mental misstep left in their deck. It didn't really feel like it would be very bad after we duress their hand and saw they had basically nothing. They had just Flux Arcanist. But... I kind of got baited hella hard by that Ancestral Recall drawing me nothing. I can't... Okay. Time Twister plans are off. The good news is I have a nice Yogwill if I can resolve it somehow. I don't know if I will ever have the mana to resolve it, though. That's the real problem here. This has to be Black Lotus. And then I'll have four mana, Demonic. I can't even Demonic for Yogwill and, and cast it, let alone resolve it through a daze. 
It's no bueno. It's all it's all it's all broken here. Don't see it. Don't see the avenue. Not seeing the way through here. <sighs> um... So if this gets me dark ritual, I have, <laughs> uh, shit. If it gets me dark ritual, I would have short mana to dark petition. If it gets me cabal ritual, I could dark petition, but I would get tased. Oh man, it's too funny. If I get Yagwell, I just don't have enough. I think I just lose. Uh, I don't really see how. I guess I can technically go for Ruby, right? No, Ruby's in my Ruby's in my yard. Okay, what if I get a? Okay, so I should have gotten. I should have fet cracked for red and played breach. Okay, maybe there's something there on breach lines. Um, so I definitely messed up though, because there's no reason for me to lose a mana to demonic there. It does put a card in my yard, but technically, if I had a brain freeze in my deck, I would win this game, right? I really need Yogwell. If I hadn't used my Demonic, I would have one more mana here. Mm -hmm. Like that technically I can cast Dark Petition. Like I could I could eat these three Moxin, cast Dark Petition with still having access to gain two three mana back. And then where do we go? Can I get a tinker line? I just don't have enough cards in my yard for a tinker line, probably. Wait, I can, right? So if I go crypt... Dark petition. Oh no, I'm gonna have yeah, yeah yeah. So if I crack for black and then I get a crypt and then I dark petition for Tinker, okay. So I yeah, I eat those three. Cause this is gonna give me dark petition and an artifact and the th spell mastery. And then I get a tinker. Oh god, if they just make me pay for it, I will lose. <laughs> I won't lose lose, but they should just if they just daze me here, I won't be able to get blue mana. I think this was a worth a gamble though. Okay, so now I can just get Tinker and I get my mana and I can I can still pay for a daze and I have 12 life to work with. Boom. Wait, that felt good, right? Oh, fuck hell. Fuck you. <laughs> Damn it. Fire Blast ruins everything. Uh, should I be boarding in Krakus to beat Lavinia? Oh, I have a chain in my deck. Eh, it's probably close enough. 
damn I, their ancestral drew them a, a pyro of course actually i don't even think i looked at what narsa hit to be fair uh oh time raveler right didn't matter i knew that i knew that i did know that Hmm. Okay. Try again. Uh, this hand has a one turn rebuy and a bunch of mana. It's probably not good enough. This hand is sweet. I mean, not super sweet, but it's like okay. I think we just try to get a desire to work, but I don't know exactly know how we're going to resolve a desire. That does seem challenging because we need to cast spells that cost black and then also have two blue mana. So maybe we just need to draw Lotus. I don't know. Looks rough. Oh, cool. My opponent now knows my hand, so it can play around me perfectly. Perfect. That's just what I needed. I wasn't playing on hard enough mode. Jeskai, in 2022, Jeskai versus DPS was not a matchup I expected to ever play. All right, I'm going to cast this Duress. What, do you, what say you, opponent? Okay, cool. I hate this game. Um, fantastic, wonderful, brilliant. All right, I'm gonna take one of these flusters. I like. I don't even think energy flux is good against me. I would not be boarding an energy flux against DPS. But hey, man, what do I know? I'm just a streamer who plays badly. Okay, so technically, I can do the thing now. Why do we have an Underworld Breach but no Brain Freeze in our deck? That's what I don't understand. Are they going to jam a Dreadhorde? Really? I hate this game. Why does every time I look at their hand, it's not good enough? And then they draw the best card. <sighs> Fuck me. <laughs> Come on, dude. Oh, I would have been able to, at the very least, like, pedal. This is a fifth card, sixth card. Like, I would have been able to maybe desire and pay for some of the Flusterstorm targets. But maybe I need to bring in Pyro to kill freaking Lavinia. Caracas to bounce Lavinia? I don't know. There's probably like, what, two Lavinias in their deck? It feels so silly. I should just play Dread Horde and hold up Fluster Storm. They're going to play Flux. This is a complete misevaluation of the threats. I don't understand. Why wouldn't you hold up Flusterstorm and set up your Arcanist? Well. This is a good representation of why, one of the reasons why, two of the reasons, or basically the big reason why Desire doesn't really see much play is that Flusterstorm is very good against it. Maybe if they're suspecting, like, I don't think Flux is enough, like, I don't think Defense Grid is enough to warrant Flux. I feel like you would just bring in your like your wear tears and your fragmentizes, and that would be enough. Hmm. Like they're probably gonna slam flux now. Yeah. I mean, I didn't board in a lot of answers to Lavinia, but I don't really feel like answering Lavinia is is like the way to go about this. 
Okay, we got we got we got massacred. It happened. We move on. Okay. Fifth round with this TPS deck. Can we scrounge together? A Jun 5 -0. Let's do it. I kind of think I'm going to keep this hand. It is lacking certain materials uh, to be... Okay. That's a problem. That is a problem because we are, are not set up to face uh, shops right now. Black Lotus? Okay, a land is an acceptable card. I'm going to duress you because I can only go, what, four mana? Yeah, let's see if we have any problems here. Any problems in this hand? Oh, no problems in this hand. That is not a keepable shop's hand, by the way. Uh, I highly recommend you don't keep shop's hands like that because uh, you are just leaving yourselves at complete mercy of vintage. Uh, you have no recourse versus um, Bazaar. You have no recourse versus Combo. You are barely functioning versus a perceived control deck so i i would i would mulligan this hand if i were an opponent like they are just going you know going for a clocking a clocking play which is it doesn't look like it's going to be fast enough yeah i mean it's good against citadel i guess any black lotuses no hmm so, because my opponent is going for a clocking play, 4, 7, 10, um, I think I am going to not Twister. So I can Twister with an additional black mana floating but i don't think we can win off of that in most circumstances um so i think i'm gonna just hope my opponent draws no more interaction again and go for the next turn and maybe go for like desire don't know if that's actually better though it depends I mean, this clocking might work because my deck doesn't function, which is my fault. They drew Wasteland, of course. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's not good. That's not good. Wasteland is one of their pieces of interaction. Uh, like, I think their hand is probably a lot closer to capable if there's a Wasteland in it, to be honest. But... Okay, so... Do the thing. We're gonna twist because we can't do anything other than twist here. So, uh, dark ritual, soul ring, cabal ritual. I guess technically I can play a citadel, but it, I now no longer have the life total to use citadel. So, we're gonna twist and hope it's good enough. We don't have an additional blue mana because our opponent drew wasteland. I think if I had the additional blue mana. Would I desire for four? I actually think it's probably worse. So maybe not. Three black mana is a lot of black mana. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm actually one mana short. Fantastic. I drew too many lands. I drew three lands. And I only have four, four mana for my Dark Petition. Beautiful. All right. This deck is something, man. I lost to a shop straw with no interaction. Not ideal. I guess technically, if I had an additional banner and I didn't get wastelanded, that was a game winning hand, right? Or, well, is that Dark Ritual? That, that, that demonic is not, uh, that uh, Dark Petition is probably not even game winning because there's nothing in my yard anymore, right? Or this is just a twister in my yard. And I can't put any more spells in my yard with Lion's Eye Diamond because there I didn't draw any spells. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like that was winning. All right. So the good news is we have a Blight Steel Colossus. We have Empty the Warrens. We have Caracas for extra mana. 
We have some pushes. We have some Hercules. We have a chain. We have some cards. Uh, I don't know. We don't really want mystical. Oh, sorry. We want mystical. We don't really want. Oh, there's no mental misstep in the deck. Interesting. I was going to say we don't want mental misstep, but there is no mental misstep. Hmm. I see. Well, I don't need defense grids, and I don't need this stupid card. Um, I feel like I don't need duresses on the play. Oh, wait, duresses aren't even good on the draw either. I feel like I don't want duresses. I feel like I want to just kill my opponent on turn one. I want my most powerful cards in an effort to kill my... Maybe I don't... Yeah, I probably want Fatal Push. Mm -hmm. I think I want my most powerful card and just try to kill my opponent on turn one. That feels like the right way to go about this to me. Maybe like the Cabal Ritual is a little bit too much mana, and maybe this this Wish Tile Talisman is too much mana. I mean, I I I would board out Desire on the draw for sure, but on the play, if I can find like a Desire hand, well, this one makes me want to keep it because I have Brainstorm, Fetchland, Sapphire. But is that even going to be good enough? I just want to put like a Blight Steel into play. I feel like with three fresh cards, fast mana, and the ability to get rid of this Necropotence, yeah, this looks quite winning. Excuse me. Doing better though. Doing better. Okay. Uh, sure. Interesting. I'm just gonna put a blight steel in play. Now, this is how Justin plays Magic. This is how I learned to do everything. How else can Justin win without casting Tanker? Clearly, there are no alternatives. I simply cannot win without casting Tinker. Hey, at least it's for a robot. Robots are fun. All right, opponent, you got five mana, sphere? No? Off it. Fair enough. I, too, am scared when I look into the eye. Eyes? Facial stuff of a White Steel Colossus? All right, so now is the tricky part. Because we <laughs> lost to the game one hand... We have to win a game three hand on the draw, and I forgot to board those cards out that I said I was going to board out. Which, now that I think about it, sounds like a mistake. But we learned from earlier that it's just making content. It's not, not, a, mis it's not a mistake, it's just making content. Um, ne like Necropotent seems to not be a card I would want in this matchup. Chain uh on the draw, mind desire on the draw it does not seem great. These cards are good. If I had a different payoff other than Necro, I think I would snap this hand off with three mana and a jet, or you know, and fast mana. But I think with no payoff, I can't keep. Uh, okay, I have a Tinker, so I will keep this hand. I obviously I need to draw my artifacts, but. I have three three lands, I have a Hercules Recall, and I have a Tinker. So that is typically cards that I want to use. To, what is this? Oh, okay. Ruby plus Sphere. Not Sphere. Okay. Again, I don't know if I would keep a hand without a Sphere of Resistance. Like, if you had Patchwork, Ruby, Sphere, it seems really strong. All right, Moxon. Didn't draw Moxon, but did draw Ponder. I will cast Ponder. Looking for Moxon. Manavol is a Moxon. 
These other cards are not very good, but I will accept Mana Vault as it is my path to victory. So now I have some play here. It all depends on does my opponent have a Wasteland? Probably. Any Wastelands from the opponent? No Wastelands. Do you have a you know, a God Pharaoh statue? Do you have a Trinisphere? Do you have a something? No, they don't have a something. Okay. Uh, they are once again trying to race me, which I think is not a good strategy. I block here, I take 10. It's actually pretty close. Uh, I, of course, I have Hercules Recall, but I think if I just put a Blight, Blight Steel into play, I lose, right? If they draw an artifact. Uh, no, 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 I don't lose, because I'm always blocking here. So if I draw an artifact, they have 9, 11. So they have exactly one short. I would die to, No, I won't die to my crypt because I'm going to tinker. Okay, I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to put a Blight Steel in play. Don't know if they have a Walking Ballista, but Walking Ballista would do it. The good news is... I have them beat if I can cast my Hercules Recall. Yeah, again, I, I don't know if these racing hands are what you want to be doing. Like if my opponent simply had a sphere in this game, I would I would be I would lose. You got I think you I mean that's my experience with shops anyways. I, I feel you need to like leverage the power of sphere resistance. What did you draw though? What did you draw? What does this get you? Oh not a bad one wait that is actually the perfect one because now if you attack all i can't cast my hercules recall because it costs three so i have to draw a moxin no that's not true because i can attack they have to chump and then i can i can hit them on on uh attacks so this was probably their best draw, though, because it was a sphere that also pumped everyone and blocked. Not bad. Okay. Uh, yeah, I will attack. Because I cannot cast Hercules Recall. And they will block. And then I will go to their turn, and I will wait for them to attack me. They drew a strip mine. Okay. All right. I don't know if they get enough blockers here to live through a blight steel, but. Shouldn't you play? Oh, they don't have two. Okay. They need to get eight. Toughness? No, they need to get 10 toughness. That doesn't seem feasible. This is like the power, though. Like, if their hand had a strip mine in it, it's much stronger. You get to play your creatures and limit your opponent's mana. You can't just do one thing. In my opinion, for shops, you need to be doing, you need to be presenting a clock while restricting your opponent. So technically, they made nine toughness. So that will not save you here. Not to mention the fatal list of pushes. So you can't hit this one. It's got ward. I don't know if this does anything but mine as well just in case i can't math and the jund 5-0 also known as i got 3-2 in a pity chest you know what i accept i do think that um 
I do think that as, as retro gets going, those will probably turn into wins for retro, and then uh, then I will have gone one four. <laughs> but I didn't play that well either, so there was definitely some room from the pilot side to make this better. Uh, this underworld breach looked terrible to me. There was a time, there was a breach line where we just all we needed to have was a brain freeze in our deck, uh, and then this breach would have actually been lethal. I don't think breach acting as a Yogwill is it just it's not Yogwill. People thought, oh my god, they printed better Yogwill. No, it's actually a lot worse, and you need exactly brain freeze to really make it work. It doesn't really work super well as a value card, uh, especially in this deck, which is not like. You know, it's not it's not like a Xerox style deck uh, that could maybe get a little bit more value from a, a value breach. I did like the Wishclaw Talisman, but we didn't play against any collector roofs, so the Wishclaw Talisman uh, didn't really have downside. Actually, is what it kind of was. There wasn't a lot of downside to our Wishclaw Talisman, which was really nice. Uh, Desire is not castable unless you are a Savage Luck sack with a Black Lotus. Uh, this card just not castable ever. Um. Yeah, I don't know. DPS, still DPS. It's powerful enough to win games. It's not consistent enough to win games. And you can't interact with anybody. So... I still wouldn't say you should play DPS. However, if you're a powerful wizard, you want to sling some Dark Rituals, maybe you play some DPS. However, there I'm going to let you guys in on a secret. There is a broken Dark Ritual deck that not many people play. It's called Doomsday. Oh, how can, I, how can I forget? Very small metagame percentage. Very broken deck. Play Doomsday. See you next video.